Welcome back to our journey of self-discovery and empowerment. Yesterday, we delved into overcoming imposter syndrome, recognizing your authenticity and boundless potential. Today, we shall explore a new terrain, the confidence in conflict resolution. This is an essential aspect of interaction where your newfound self-confidence can lead to a more positive and constructive outcome. Please remember that this session contains hypnosis, which should only be listened to when you're in a safe and comfortable environment. Never listen to this session while driving or operating machinery. Conflict is an inevitable part of life. As social beings, we are bound to encounter differences in opinions, beliefs, and interests. These differences, if not addressed effectively, can sometimes lead to conflict. However, conflict doesn't have to be detrimental. In fact, it can be an opportunity for growth and positive change when approached with confidence and the right set of skills. There is a common misconception that conflict is inherently negative. This perception often stems from experiences where conflicts were handled poorly, leading to emotional distress or strained relationships. However, it's essential to recognize that conflict itself is neutral. It's merely a manifestation of difference. It is how we approach and resolve conflicts that can make them either constructive or destructive. Imagine conflict as a crossroad. One path leads to escalation, misunderstanding and harm, while the other leads to resolution, understanding and growth. The path chosen largely depends on the approach taken. When approached assertively and confidently, conflict can be an avenue for learning, innovation and stronger relationships. There are various forms of conflict including interpersonal, intrapersonal and group conflicts. They can arise in different settings such as the workplace, family or social environments. The underlying causes of conflict can be diverse, including difference in values, competition for resources, or communication breakdowns. Being able to identify the nature and cause of a conflict is the first step in resolving it effectively. An essential aspect of conflict resolution is communication. Effective communication is more than just speaking your mind. It's about listening actively, understanding the perspective of others, and conveying your thoughts and feelings respectfully. It's also about being aware of non-verbal communication such as body language, as this can often speak far louder than words. Confidence in conflict resolution involves having faith in your ability to handle the situation constructively. This does not mean being aggressive or domineering, but being assertive. There is a distinct difference between assertiveness and aggression. Assertiveness is about expressing your thoughts and feelings openly and honestly, while respecting the rights and beliefs of others. In contrast, aggression often involves disregarding the rights and feelings of others in pursuit of one's own interests. Empathy is another crucial component in conflict resolution. Putting yourself in someone else's shoes and trying to understand their feelings and perspectives can pave the way for mutual understanding and compromise. It's important not to view conflict as a win-lose situation, but rather as an opportunity for win-win outcomes where the needs and interests of all parties are considered. Negotiation skills are often central to resolving conflicts, especially when there are competing interests or resources at stake. Negotiation involves finding a middle ground through compromise and collaboration. This requires the ability to think critically and creatively about the issues at hand and to propose solutions that are fair and sustainable. Another vital element of conflict resolution is emotional intelligence. This entails recognizing and managing your emotions and being sensitive to the emotions of others. When emotions run high, there is a tendency for conflicts to escalate. Being able to stay calm and composed is essential for constructive conflict resolution. In some cases, conflicts may not be resolvable through direct communication and negotiation especially if there is a significant power imbalance 
or a history of conflict. In such cases, mediation or third-party intervention can be beneficial. This involves a neutral third party who facilitates communication and helps the conflicting parties reach a resolution. Building confidence in conflict resolution is an ongoing process that involves developing a range of skills including communication, assertiveness, empathy, negotiation, and emotional intelligence. It also requires self-awareness and reflection. By understanding your conflict style and recognizing how your actions and reactions can impact a situation, you can make more informed choices in how to approach conflicts. It's important to remember that conflict resolution is not just about resolving the issues at hand, it's also about learning and growing from the experience. By approaching conflicts with an open mind and willingness to understand and collaborate, you can turn potentially challenging situations into opportunities for positive change and personal growth. Remember, conflict is a natural part of human interaction. With confidence and the right skills, you can navigate the turbulent waters of conflict and steer the ship towards calmer seas where understanding, growth, and positive relationships await. And now imagine for a moment you're standing at the edge of a tranquil lake. The air is fresh, and the gentle breeze caresses your face. The sun is setting, painting the sky in shades of orange and gold. It's a beautiful, serene place. Now as you watch the calm waters, you might be aware that the surface of the lake is much like your conscious mind. The thoughts on the surface are clear and evident, but underneath the surface the waters run deep, and so do the resources within you. Take a deep breath in, and as you breathe out, imagine yourself taking a gentle step into the lake. As you do, you might feel the cool water around your feet and sense the ripples moving away from you. This is the beginning of your journey into the depths of your subconscious mind. Just as the lake holds secrets and life beneath its surface, your subconscious mind holds the key to your confidence in resolving conflicts. With each step you take into the lake, feel yourself going deeper into relaxation, embracing the calmness around you. As you breathe, let the ebb and flow of the water synchronize with your breath. Inhale the possibilities and exhale any doubts. You are now waist deep in the lake, feeling connected to your emotions, ready to unlock the wisdom and strength that resides within. As you submerge yourself, you enter a world where the waters of your mind are calm, even if the surface is ruffled by the winds of conflict. In this serene depth, you can find the clarity and understanding necessary for resolving disputes with confidence. And as you float effortlessly in this tranquil underwater sanctuary, allow yourself to be carried gently by the currents of your subconscious mind. Each current represents a different emotion experience or memory that has shaped who you are. Some currents might feel warm, some cool, but each one has its own wisdom to share with you. Imagine that as you're floating, you find yourself drifting through an ancient sunken city. This city represents the collective knowledge and wisdom of humanity in conflict resolution. Picture yourself drifting through its streets, 
lined with libraries, monuments and sculptures of great mediators and peacemakers. These figures of history who knew the secrets of harmony and understanding surround you. You come across a particularly ancient building with an inscription that reads, The Hall of Harmony. Imagine now as you float closer, the doors open to welcome you into a room filled with golden light. This light is the embodiment of harmony and understanding, and as you immerse yourself in it, you feel even more relaxed, almost as if you are being cradled by the light. You are now at the very depths of your subconscious, in the heart of the Hall of Harmony. Here you can absorb the centuries of wisdom and insights that reside within these walls. Each breath you take makes you calmer, each heartbeat makes you wiser, and each moment makes you more confident in your ability to resolve conflicts. Feel the golden light surrounding you, filled with compassion, empathy and the courage to seek resolution and understanding. In this sacred space, Surrounded by the golden light, you are not only in the company of history's greatest peacemakers, but also your deepest inner wisdom. Your subconscious mind has been with you through every conflict and every resolution, absorbing lessons and experiences. And as you are here, you might realize that every conflict is an opportunity, an opportunity to grow, to understand and to build bridges. Imagine the golden light transforming into a bridge, a bridge that connects two shores. On one side is conflict, on the other is resolution. Imagine now as you start walking on this bridge, with every step, you can sense yourself getting more confident. You might even hear the whispers of the great mediators encouraging you, letting you know that it's not about avoiding conflicts, it's about approaching them with wisdom and grace. As you walk, picture the conflicts you've faced or might face, See them not as walls, but as doors that are slightly ajar. Behind these doors are untapped possibilities for connection and growth. It takes confidence to push these doors open. It takes the ability to communicate with an open heart and an open mind. And as you reach the center of the bridge, imagine looking down into the water. In it you see a reflection, but not of your face, it's a reflection of your emotions. Notice how calm they are. This is the state of mind you can choose to be in during conflicts. Now think of a specific conflict. As you do, imagine extending your hand, and as you do, the golden light forms words in your palm. These are the words of empathy, understanding and assertiveness. Words that can de-escalate, that can heal. It's in this moment that you may realize that sometimes it's not just about what we say, but how we say it. Imagine yourself using these words in a calm and composed manner. Even if the waves of the other person's emotions are high, you are grounded. You may find it helpful to consider what the other person is going through. Perhaps they too are caught in the currents, trying to find their footing. 
This is where your light can guide them. And as you now reach the end of the bridge, you can see a door. Above it, an inscription that reads, Resolution. Feel your heart swell with the confidence and calmness you now possess. Reach out and open the door, and as you step through, you find yourself in a room where the conflict you thought of is being resolved. You can see the words of empathy and understanding floating in the air, forming bridges between hearts. Remember, resolving conflict is also about listening. Listening not just to respond, but to understand. Imagine your ears being attuned to the emotions behind the words. This understanding can be the key to resolution. You now possess the knowledge and the confidence to navigate through conflicts, but this bridge you've crossed is just one of many. Your journey will have many bridges, and now you know how to cross them with grace. It's important to realize that sometimes resolution doesn't mean agreement. Sometimes it's an understanding to respectfully disagree, and that is a resolution in itself. Now take a deep breath and feel the energy of resolution that surrounds you. And as you do, let this energy transform into countless golden threads. These threads represent your new ability to weave understanding and resolution into conflicts. Imagine yourself holding these threads in your hands. They are light yet strong. They are made of your words, your understanding and your empathy. Now think of how you can use these threads in real life. Imagine a situation where you may face conflict. As you imagine this, see the golden threads wrapping around you, protecting you, and giving you the confidence you need. As the conversation unfolds in your imagination, see the threads extending from your heart to the heart of the person you're in conflict with. Picture these threads carrying your words, spoken with calmness and conviction. These words are not weapons, but bridges. They do not tear down, they build up. And as the threads connect, imagine the tension easing Imagine the frowns turning into knots of understanding. Feel the shift as the room fills with the energy of cooperation and resolution. You, with your newfound confidence and skills, have the power to change the course of a conversation. You have the power to turn conflict into collaboration. Imagine that these golden threads are now a part of you. They emanate from you whenever you step into a conversation, especially the challenging ones. And now as you continue to feel the energy of these golden threads, let's think for a moment about what resolution really means. It's not a victory or a loss, it's an evolution. It's about coming to a place of understanding. And as you do this, your confidence grows. You're no longer afraid of conflicts, because you know there are opportunities in disguise. And now you find yourself back at the Hall of Harmony. And as you prepare to leave, 
the great figures of history, the peacemakers and the mediators, they all give you a nod of approval. They were once where you are, and like them, you are now a guardian of harmony. You are now ready to ascend to the surface, the golden thread still a part of you, woven into the very fabric of your being. As you rise, yourself becoming more alert, but the calmness and confidence stay with you. They are now your allies, your strengths. You break through the surface of the lake, taking a deep breath. The fresh air fills your lungs, and as you look around, you see the world in a different light. A world where conflicts are not to be feared, but to be navigated with wisdom and grace. And as you find yourself once more beside the tranquil lake, Feel the warmth of the sun gently kissing your face. It's now time to return from this incredible journey. But as you do know you're taking with you the golden thread, the confidence and the wisdom in conflict resolution. Feel your body becoming lighter as you slowly start to rise from the depths of your subconscious. With each count, you become more aware of your surroundings. Five, becoming aware of your breath. Four, feeling the surface beneath you. Three, hearing the sounds around you. Two, taking a deep breath in. And one, open your eyes, fully awake, refreshed and empowered. And as you move through your days, know that the golden threads are always with you. Whenever you find yourself in conflict, remember the Hall of Harmony let the threads guide your words and emotions. With calmness and understanding, you have the power to build bridges. Today you've unlocked a vital aspect of self-confidence, the confidence to manage and resolve conflicts effectively. You're now the guardian of harmony, equipped with the golden threads of resolution. Tomorrow we will venture into another empowering journey, building trust in your abilities. This will be a remarkable step in strengthening your inner confidence even further. Until next time, goodbye and good mental health.